about ammo? Come this way! Bitch! Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of I'll you! I'll cover you! We gotta get out of here! Get over here, goddammit! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? I've got ammo! Listen to me! Telltale games have given new breath to the adventure gaming genre. Now, I wouldn't say adventure games have been dead, but they've definitely been pretty dormant for many years. And then Telltale Games comes out with their fantastic Walking Dead Season 1, The Wolf Among Us, that Back to the Future game, and they bulk up the adventure genre with so much great new stuff that we as gamers just have to play. I mean, even people who don't like adventure games, people who would look at point-and-click adventure games from like the 90s or early 2000s and just scuff at them, want to play adventure games like The Walking Dead Season 1 and 2 because these games could actually be exciting and entertaining. It's a new breed of adventure games that I think everyone can enjoy. The Walking Dead Season 1 quickly became one of my favorite adventure games. I mean, I'm talking right up there with The Longest Journey. Season 2 picks up where Season 1 left off, except this time the protagonist of this game is the Padawan to the protagonist of the last game. I think The Walking Dead is one of the best worlds to have an adventure game in. You're constantly trying to escape from zombie hordes. There's gonna be a ton of action, something a lot of adventure games lack. Too many adventure games only focus on puzzles, or only focus on character interaction and talking, and they forget to add any action into their game, and that kind of leaves their, their games a little stale. And it is not like that with The Walking Dead Season 2 at all. There is a ton of action, and the action in this game is gruesome. I didn't check the game's rating, but it should have like three M's on it. I mean, I think you have to be over 45 to play this game and not get completely completely shocked. You see people getting eaten alive by zombies. You see children getting eaten alive by zombies. A little girl has to stitch up her own hand. One guy beats another guy to death until his face is just literally a bloody stump with nothing on it. And one other guy gets his penis shot off. Yeah, I'm serious. That really happened. Just like in Robocop, or like, what was it, 21 Jump Street. Except in this game, it was a lot more serious than 21 Jump Street. It wasn't a joke, it was like, damn, that guy got his dick shut off. Now, the game isn't all about shock and awe. There's actually a really, really rich story, and that's one of the reasons I love Telltale games so much, is how well they tell these stories. You play as a young girl named Clementine trying to survive in this zombie-infested, post-apocalyptic world. She jumps from group of people to group of people, moving forward, avoiding zombies, avoiding the cold, trying to find food and shelter, and of course interacting with people along the way. A huge part of The Walking Dead Season 2 is talking to people, choosing different dialogue options which change the way other characters see your character, and it also changes the kind of person the character you play is. Some of the dialogue options don't affect too much, but a lot of them are pivotal and really do actually change the story in very, very important ways. The Walking Dead Season 2 is one of the most well-polished and richest adventure games of all time, period. It, it, when I said The Walking Dead Season 1 quickly became like my first or second favorite adventure game, The Walking Dead Season 2 is now right up there with Season 1. It is just as good. The characters in the game are rich and multi-dimensional, and the story is as good as video game stories can get. In fact, it's too good to be a video game story. Get Scorsese or Peter Jackson, get like Chloe Moretz to play Clementine, and you got Oscar bait right there. The Walking Dead Season 2 gets a well-deserved Stan Birdman rating of a 9.3 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my sweet peas. Pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff.
That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. <laughs> 